Recently, I modeled this birdhouse from the marine or nautical theme, and I've decided that I I, I want to do a little bit more work on this because I, I think it's so so interesting and so cute. And so I'm going to model um, an anchor with the same sort of white, sort of shiny plastic and just sort of maybe lean it up against here. Or the other idea is I realize maybe I should have a little hole for the birds to, to feed on the other side because I never really saw the other side. So maybe I do, uh, maybe I do a hole with like a, um, a ship's helm, the wheel whatever and an anchor leaning against the side and maybe a smaller window or something so i'm going to start uh with the anchor so it's got a new scene here and uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in uh an image uh, as a reference image and there is uh, the reference image that i want to use I probably should have done that from an orthographic view. That's something to remember. So I'm going to do it from the front. And I'm going to find that again. And if I bring it in from that view, uh, it will look like that. All right, I'm just going to bring it up to around there. And um, I can lock that so I can't move it. So I'll come over here and choose the arrow here. And now I can click that. Now it's not movable. Okay. So I'm going to bring in a, um, let's say I bring in a cube, go into edit mode and wireframe, and put an edge loop down the middle and delete these vertices. Uh, I'll be able to mirror this across. Let me just make sure everything's looking good. So bring that up to the boat there. And I'm going to bring this down to about the bottom here. Pull these guys back here, and uh, now I'm just going to make sure I'm grabbing both. And a G, and I think maybe before I do get too carried away, I will scale this in the Y so my anchor's not too thick. Okay, um, before I do go on, though, it might be a little bit hard to see, so I'm, I'm going to select this here, here, click on this, and image transparency. And I'll change the transparency like that so that we can see a little bit better what we're doing. All right, awesome. Okay, box select those and hit E to extrude and G and just constantly sort of select and uh, manipulate these E and G. Because I'm not rotating that much, I might sort of do this. And what I kind of want to achieve is I kind of want to have these edges, you know, perpendicular with the, the direction that I'm going in. So that I you know, I'd pull that back. It's not critical to do that, but it just makes it flow a little bit better. It's still a little bit wide. All right, I'm gonna come up to, uh, oh, that's not what I wanna do. Up to about here now. Like this. Um, yeah, let's look at this from the side. Scale that in the Y again. And uh, I'm going to come out of that and I'm gonna go Control-3, put a subdivision surface on just to get a sense of it. Okay, it doesn't have to uh, fully match uh, the diagram. Um, all right, it can be, it's just an anchor. Okay, here we go. So take this E and G, we'll come out. And I'm gonna, uh, let's just scale G. Let's scale that in the Y as well. Sharper like that, and then just let's have a look at this here. It's probably gonna be fun. Let's have a look at this thing. Okay, so that's what I've got. All right, 
I'm going to grab this face here. I'm going to extrude out. now Okay, I like that. Let me just see if I want to slide this in and then take this one and maybe I'll just scale this out a bit and GG slide that in. Not all, all that unnoticeable like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, let's look from the side and then wireframe. Let's uh, actually turn, uh, turn that off. And let's just uh, let's scale that. Okay, so that's what we got so far. And that's going to be just fine for what I want to do. Okay, so let's go up here to this face here, up from the front. And let's hit E to extrude and pull it up. I'm going to be deleting this face right there. And uh, back in wireframe, grab this one. Tighten that in there. Uh, I'm going to bring another edge loop up here. So actually, these both are going to come in here. That's going to be like that. So I'm roughly following the diagram, I'm not stressing out about that. Okay. That's okay.
like that. That'll look, that'll be okay for me, for what I want to do. Okay, now I'm going to shift a mesh torus, bring that in. I'm going to just rotate X90 and bring it up. And scale. I'm just in object mode, but that's okay. That the approximate size and I'm going to shade smooth on that and then I can come back to this guy here and uh, I can try to box it like all of that if I can and uh, let's look from the side actually and let's just scale this in the Y in like that mesh cylinder the default values again no problem rotate y90 scale it down period key to zoom in keep scaling Maybe. scale in the x until it covers there Okay, um, I'm going to shift D, copy that and just, yeah, let's just leave it there. Scale this in the X this way and scale shift X so that it's underneath like that and shade smooth that. We'll come back to this one. I might uh, control a rotation and scale just for the fun of it all. And in edge selection, I'm going to shift alt and click that edge and that edge. I'll look from the front and wireframe. I will go control B, pull back till I till my bevel gets to about about there, and then I'll roll my mouse up a bunch of times so I sort of simulate that, that curve. Okay. And shake smooth. That looks like that. And that's all good. And the final thing. We'll bring in a UV sphere. I'm just using default values. Whether you decide to do that or not, it's up to you. I'm going to scale this in the X. And scale it in the Y. this and I will use the eyedropper to choose that which is pretty central that is it that's all right there ah, so control C let's go back to my image from before and I just copied and pasted it in scale that right down I think to make it easy I will uh, with it selected right click move to collection uh, new collection and I'll call this anchor and I can select it easily up here now I don't know what side to put this on so for the moment, I'm just going to put it on this side here. You go. Now I would probably want to tilt that, uh, but for the moment, what we'll do is I'll just give it that material. That's gonna be white.
already see it's a little bit shiny. Okay. Let's we have a look at this guy. Mm, yeah, maybe it's a bit fat, I don't know. There's my anchor. So, like I said, I might want to, uh, I might want to cut another hole on the other side. Doesn't have to be exactly that same position. You know, maybe it could be up here. Put it, you know, and put a ship's wheel there and the anchor. Maybe I'll make some more props for this. Um, I'm not sure, um, but I do, I do like it though. And. Um, yeah, the whole scene's not very, very complicated. Maybe even something on the back, a ladder, fish and chips, I don't know. All right, cool. Well, that was the main thing was to, to model the anchor.